Hey lovers, it's Roz, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Much love to you. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support. The growing family, thank you so much for the love and support and the prayers and the kind blessings and just the pleasant vibes you're sending out to me that I send out to you and you're sending out to everybody else. So if that was being said, thank you so much and don't stop. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely going to come for you. And <clears throat> if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll love to get the positive feedback. Or even if it's about the content of my video, or you just tell me about your spiritual gift that has been placed upon you. If you feel like my video gave you some good validation, good comfort, spread the love. Don't be stingy. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. This peaceful music I'm listening to today is called Tibetan music, healing music, relaxing music, chakra, relaxing music for stress relief, 2729C. I will post that link in the description box below. Y'all, I'm sorry for the picture quality. I love sitting on my couch talking to y'all, but I got to stand up right now until, you know, I get back over there. So I'll probably, my next video, I'll probably sit down and go ahead and put my speakers over there on my plan. Because <laughs> I, I appreciate you notice when you deal with stuff and then when you have to actually do something opposite that you've been doing something for so long you start appreciating the old stuff but yeah that's one of those moments but anyways the video i'm about to do for today the content of my video today is twin flame 101 all empaths the true strength lies within you true, true strength lies in, within you i get a lot of comp uh not compliments but uh, well, they are actually are compliments, but comments about, you know, people are asking me how, you know, how do you just, you know, sit in front of the camera, act silly, whatever. I mean, I just be mean. You have to be real. You know, I have to be real because it's like, I don't want to backtrack. You know, I don't want to sit up here and be covering up something like, oh my God, I don't want y'all to find out. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, there's nothing in my life that you know, I mean, other than real personal, personal things, but it's nothing that, you know, other people haven't probably been through, but, you know, there's things that you just don't want to discuss, but a lot of people don't have strength like that overnight. People can be confident, be scared as I don't know what, but put on a good poker face and be, you know, don't understand where they got that strength from to make it through whatever they made it through, but you have to find it within yourself. You know, there are some people that has went through so much abuse that, you know, especially verbal abuse, where you've been called names to the point where you probably believed it. You really probably believed it. And it, it's just hard to actually find strength after that because it's just like some people can go through that for so long that they'll actually start believing it. Me, I did. You know, even though my mom had gave me compliments every now and then, but she had went through a childhood where she didn't get them, get them to herself, so she only taught me what she knew. That's the only thing she taught me is what she knew. So I had to basically teach myself, program myself to find that strength within me because there's times where I felt like I wasn't going to make it. Where did I get this strength from? I mean, it surprises me when it comes out the way it does. You know, so when you go through things, you have to find that strength within yourself because you know if you're really st striving for something, I mean striving, striving or thriving for something, th that strength is going to come bolting out of you from somewhere. It's like somebody's going to stick a lighter up under your butt, even if you have to psych yourself out and say, look, this is something I really want. I've been fighting for this for months and months, years and years, you know, didn't get anywhere and I finally got that chance and I chicken out. You know, you can't be scared. I mean, you can be scared, but, you know, if you know that's something you really want, you will sacrifice that, that fear to get what you want. You have to be able to find that within yourself. It's like when we're going through all these things and you've been through so many, much abuse, that can really break a mental, uh, a mental confidence for any individual. It really would. 
And it's just like we have to be able to do that when we're going through our awakening. We will find out so many things about ourselves that we will be amazed. We'll be shocked. We'll probably be angry because these things we, we've known for ourselves for a long time. We just didn't want to pay attention to it, turn a blind eye to it, and, you know, just don't want to go away. But then those things fester up and things start falling apart. And it's just like when we go through our awakening, we go through things where it's snatched away from us, you know, pushed away or just abandoned. That's when your strength and your faith stores that, you know, you have to find that within yourself. You know, you have to be strong and know that, you know, if you're going through something and it's really hard and you're trying to understand, you know, how am I going to get out of this? You know, there's a way. You have to be able to find it within yourself. You know, we try to go looking all over the place for answers when we need to look in the mirror. And we have to realize that. So I hope that was able to help somebody. Sorry my videos are so short, y'all. I've been, it's been a crazy couple of days. And, you know, it really took some energy just for me to do these. But, I, you know, I love y'all. So I was just like, okay, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do my videos. I was going to take a break. Just because, you know, Blood Moon really took a lot out of me. It really did. Especially with the things that I had to really deal with on the side. So I hope everybody had a blessed weekend. I hope everybody's safe. And you are loved and highly favored. You know, send love out. Send out as much positivity as possible. And know you are blessed and highly favored. And know you are truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there that is praying for your better good. And, you know... Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. You know, spread the love. Share the knowledge. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace and be wild.